In this video, I'm going to run through how you can find the derivative of 1 over x from first principles. So we'll start with the statement of first principles, which says that the derivative of any function is the limit as h tends towards 0 of f of x plus h. That's your function f of x plus a little bit of h. And then we're subtracting the original function f of x and dividing that by h. And this actually gives you the derivative of any function. So we've got f of x equals 1 over x. So we're selecting this f of x to be our original function because we want the derivative of f of x, f dash of x. We now need to think about finding f of x plus h. So we simply replace this x with x plus h. And this x, therefore, is going to be replaced with x plus h as well. So we do that there, and we've now got everything we need to substitute into this expression. We've got f of x plus h, and we've got f of x here. So we can replace these two, and we do that here. And so we've now got this slightly unpleasant situation here. It doesn't look very helpful. But we can common denominator this and start to simplify it. So we're going to take this x, multiply top and bottom here, and then we're going to multiply top and bottom of our other function by x plus h. And when we do that, we end up with something that looks worse, but it will simplify. So we can combine these two fractions because they have the same denominator. And of course, x minus x is just going to disappear. And then this h is going to become minus h. So we're going to get a minus. So when we do that, we're going to end up with this result. I brought this minus out front from the minus h. And we've got something that's slightly simpler. It's not looking very good because we've got divided by and then divided by again. So we can start thinking about how we tidy this up. So come across here. And instead of having divide by h here, I've put divide by h. It's exactly the same thing. And when you're dividing fractions, you flip the second fraction and change the divide to a multiply. So this is h, which is basically h over 1. So if we flip it, we'll get 1 over h. And this divide changes to a multiply. And you should spot that this h and this h are just going to cancel. So they are now gone. This leaves us with this result here. I've also multiplied this out. So x times x giving you x squared and x times h giving you hx. Now we can think about taking the limit. So we're going to make h tend towards 0. So if this h was 0, this h times x is just going to disappear. That's going to turn out to tend towards 0. So when we take the limit, we're going to be left with minus 1 over x squared, which is our derivative of 1 over x. So we've proved the derivative of 1 over x from first principles. I hope this video was helpful to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.